Welcome to the Community Library Storytime. I am Miss Kareem, and today I am reading about Valentine, giving Valentines to each other, and love. And remember to check your local library because there's all kinds of books about Valentine's, Valentine's Day, and St. Valentine's Day. Like you see some over, let's see here. All right, I have books out here, and actually I have a couple over my shoulder. Valentine's books are flat. Okay, so. First, we're going to do a little poem, and you can do it with me. So if you put up your five fingers, I have little valentine hearts on mine. Okay, five big valentines from the corner store. I mailed one to a friend. I'm going to do friend. And then there were four. Four valentines, lovely ones to see. I mailed one to mommy. Don't forget your mommy. Don't forget your mommy because they give mommy out. And then there were three. Three valentines, red, shiny, and new. I mailed one to my daddy. I'm going to do daddy. Ouch. And then there were two. Two valentines. The best is yet to come. I mailed one to grandma. I'm going to do grandma because she's there in this photo. And then there was one. One valentine. The giving is almost done. I mailed one to grandpa. I'm going to do grandpa. No more Valentines. All right, so my first book is called Valentine Surprise by Corinne DeMoss, illustrated by R.W. Alley. Valentine Surprise. Oops. It was almost Valentine's Day, and Lily wanted to make a Valentine for Mommy. She found some paper, and she said, I'll cut out a big heart, said Lily. It will be a secret until Valentine's Day. On Monday, Lily worked at her little table by the window. She made a Valentine, but it was too pointy. She hid it under the bed. On Tuesday, Lily made a second Valentine. But it was too round. On Wednesday, Lily made a third valentine. But it was too square. On Thursday, Lily made a fourth valentine. But it was too curvy. On Friday, Lily made a fifth valentine. But it was too on Saturday, Lily made a sixth valentine, but it was too fat. Sunday was Valentine's Day. Lily made a seventh valentine, but the heart was too lopsided. And she had used up all her paper. Lily felt so bad. What was she going to do? She had an idea. Lily pulled out all the hearts onto the table and got to work. I tried to make you a valentine, she said, but it didn't turn out right. Mommy looked at the cutout hearts. Oh, Lily, she said, I love you. You made me a valentine for every day of the week. But none of the hearts is perfect, said Lily. That doesn't matter, said Mommy. The heart inside you is. And she said her heart is perfect. And it was, because it really loved her Mommy so much. All right, so my next book is I Need a Valentine, and this is a flat book. So it has like little hidden little doors and stuff in it. And this is by Harriet Rupert and illustrated by Chris Demarest. So I need a valentine. All right, so 
One morning, just before Valentine's Day, Marjorie went to the mailbox. She opened it and looked inside. It was empty! I need a Valentine, cried Marjorie. Her mother said, if you send someone a Valentine, you'll receive one. I'll send a Valentine to Grandpa, said Marjorie. Dear Grandpa, guess how much I love you. A lot. Marjorie. What's Marjorie doing? What is this? She's mailing her letter. Can you find it? There it is, says Grandpa. Tart. The next day, Marjorie ran to her mailbox. She was sure she would find a letter. Should we look? Oh, it was empty. Marjorie was mad. She threw her toys on the floor and cried. I'm sorry, you're sad, said Marjorie's mother. I know it's hard to wait, but let's look again. Oh, look it! A box! And a Valentine letter, just for Marjorie. Dear Marjorie, guess how much I love you. More than a lot. Grandpa. How'd you like that one? It was sweet, wasn't it? And the pop-ups are a lot of fun. So let's try one more book called Love by Eric Carl. And do you see the Very Hungry Caterpillar? I'm sure you might know some other books. the first page, there we go, says, you are so sweet. A cherry on my cake. An apple of my eye. The bee's knees. You make shine brighter and the stars sparkle and the birds sing my heart flutters that's why I love you so I hope you enjoyed our story time today and please make sure you get a chance to get to your local library and check out some books. Thank you for joining me today. Goodbye.